grocery shopping this week and I decided that I was gonna make some French dip sandwiches for dinner. And I was looking at the au jus, it's the sauce that you put on the French dip in the packets and things like that. And it is loaded with junk. So I decided that I'm going to do a Make It Monday, um, make an au jus from scratch. So here goes. Okay, so first of all, let's read the ingredients on this bad boy. Holy cow, there's like a thousand. Can you see it? There it is. ingredients for this is going to be sort of eyeballing it a little bit, but our base is going to be bone broth beef organic. I'm, it's a Walmart brand, so I'm sure it's not the best, but I'm going to add just a whole entire thing to this Pyrex situation. This is, let's just say, two pounds. Look at all that. Holy cow. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little pepper in there. I'm not measuring. There's that. Okay. Oh, I said okay a thousand times. Ooh. This is parsley. Look at this grinding so well. Loving these Walmart brands here. It's literally grinding out the same size as it's in here. <laughs> okay, parsley. I got these out so I can measure. Do a good job measuring, huh? And I'm not even gonna measure this. I'm gonna sprinkle some in, and I'm gonna sprinkle some in, and then I'm gonna mix it. And that's it. So it's that easy, right? Like that was super duper easy, and I'm done. This is super cheap. I can't even remember, but it's like a dollar something. This is a dollar something. So it seems like this is a little bit more expensive, um, but you are getting out all the nonsense that comes in this. Ooh, it's strong. Okay, it's concentrated. It's concentrated. Good thing I didn't uh, just go for it. This just smells like beef broth, which is good, right? Okay, so let's add this, some water to this. I got some onions going there because you need onions for French dip because yum. Yeah. All right, we'll get this back one going. That's a cup of water. And this is two to one. So I'll do a half a cup of this stuff. I could see. Uh, half a cup. Am I doing bad math again? Two parts, one part. I think that's right. We'll know if it's overly concentrated, huh? All right, and then I'm just going to dump my little beef broth mixture right into this pan. All right, so this is becoming super duper easy. This whole meal is really easy and that's why I like it. Um, it is just, you can throw it together for your family. So it would be nice to have every single part of it be healthy, like even making your own bread. I'm not there yet, but we have our store-bought rolls and our, you know, chemical, chemical au jus. So it would be nice to, to you know, move out of that into something a little bit more healthy. Just in case you want to know how I make my French dip, it's so easy. I get the rolls and I butter them and then I put them on this guy until they're nice and golden brown on the bottom. This is just a bacon press to get them nice and crispy. Then I take the um, roast beef 
and I actually heat it up in the sauce usually, but I'm not doing that right now because obvious reasons. Anyway, and then I put, if you like it, you put a layer of mayonnaise and then onions and the kind of cheese you want. I think this meal might call for Swiss cheese. Um, it might be a different white cheese, but that's how we make our French dip sandwiches. And then we have a little side of dip and dip it in. And that's how we do it. And it's just like 15 minutes at the most. Super duper easy. I decided to put the meat into the sauce like I usually do. I just put a little bit in there and a little bit in there. And I'm gonna just have it on the bread. I'm not gonna put any of my fixings that I usually do on there because I just wanna taste it by itself. Just make sure I really can taste that sauce. And then I will show you guys what the sandwich usually looks like when it's all done up. cleanse my palate. It's just really full of flavor. That's good too. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta stir my onions. Those are looking tasty. Okay. <clears throat> That's good too. It's just not, I mean, they're not the same. I'm not like, oh, these are the same. So they're super comparable. And, but it's just easy to dip the sandwich in this beef broth with some, with some seasonings versus that chemical thing. But if you wanna make them taste the same, you probably gotta go on that list of ingredients. Oh, that's just way better. And make this puppy yourself. I like, I can taste the vinegar, I like the vinegar. If there's molasses in here, I forgot to mention that. Anchovies probably helps. So there's quite a bit. If I wanted to make this, and you guys can let me know if you want me to. If I if you want me to make this and like match the flavor for flavor, um, I will do that. But as far as this is just as tasty, no, but it's tasty. So let's try it on the sandwich. I'm dipping this in, can you see me? I honestly can't like, I'm gonna move you over here. Sorry, my sink full of dishes. Yeah, okay. I can't even really taste it very much. It's good. I might add some vinegar to this and just see if that's what it's doing for me. Okay, we're gonna try the homemade, just the broth, basically. I wanna eat on the air, I feel terrible you're watching me. Mm. I like this better on the sandwich. Oh wow. Mm. Okay. That's good. That's good, Justin. Okay, so here is the au jus sauce, the store made. Mm -mm. It's not store made. Store bought? Store bought. Mm, I really love it. You wanna use my spoon? We're just gonna share it up. I'll spoon with you. <laughs> it's strong at first. You don't like it? No, it's good. I but think I like it. I like I the vinegar like taste. Hit me. Hit me. And this is the bone broth one. The homemade. Why can't I talk? I'll wait till he tries it. It's mild compared to that. I like that better. Really? I like that other one better. It's a little too salty. The, the store-bought's a little too salty for me. This, you get a more of a herbal flavor to it. Okay, and then I made these tiny sandwiches that I already ate half of, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, Isn't so. Isn't it crazy how we finish each other's sandwiches? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay. 
So first I'm gonna try, and I made them one sandwich, I'm sorry for being really close. I made one sandwich for each dip so they wouldn't like cross contaminate, but that's not gonna happen either. Go ahead. Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do what hmm? you said. Oh, okay. You oh my gosh, this is good. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It also has a little more vinegar, like a vinegar. No, I like the vinegar taste. I think I'm gonna add vinegar That's to this. What it, yeah, maybe if you add vinegar. Yeah, Let's see. That might be a good. I'll even do it real quick. Second option. That's good on the sandwich, though. That's really good on the sandwich. What kind of vinegar? Mm-hmm. It's good on the sandwich. Apple cider vinegar in there, or what kind of vinegar? I'm going to take a white vinegar. I don't think it matters. No, I don't think it matters. Okay, Not try. a lot though. Don't overpower it. Like what? Capful. Start there. Ooh, I'm doing a half a capful. Not even that. I don't. I'm afraid. Let's see so, if it's the vinegar. It's the vinegar. It's good with the vinegar. Add vinegar. Right? Can you taste it? Tell me if you can taste it. Or am I just so full of au jus? No, that was good. A little Is bit of vinegar. A little bit more vinegar. Yeah. Touch more. Okay, so that's like less than a half capful. Yep, that's good. I like that. Okay, let me try it. I, had, I cleansed my palate. Yeah, mm -hmm. just add a little vinegar. How, now, how much healthier is the homemade versus the store-bought? Um, there's a lot of garbage in this. There's its ingredients. But what I found out, Whoa. What, what we found out, <laughs> yeah, you can dig through the trash right here. On the Dang, there's is like... That, 40 different ingredients. Right, but look, I did. I got the cheap bone broth, and look, there is a lot of stuff in here too. It's all organic. It is all organic. Yeah. But if I got regular bone broth, that wouldn't mm -hmm. have any of this stuff in it. And then I would just add my herbs and spices myself. But you know what I would do? Because you saw what I put in it before. What I would do is I'd add vinegar. Well, there's two different kinds of vinegars. Worcestershire, maybe I'd add that too. Oh, that's all I should have put in there. Molasses. I might add some of the things that are in here into there. It's a good idea. You guys can do it yourselves. Okay. But anyway, so that is that. I'm going to show you one more thing. So I wanted to show you this. With the light mayonnaise and two slices of the roast beef and onions and cheese, one slice of the Swiss cheese, this comes to 385 calories. So I can have this entire thing. I'm going to put more of the goodies on for my husband and all that. And then the dip as well. And that includes the dip. Um, so you can have this whole entire sandwich for 395 calories, and I don't feel like that's a bad deal. Throw some veggies in there, a salad, whatever you want to do, and enjoy something that's easy and kind of uh, a good calorie amount. Like, you're not overdoing it, and it kind of feels like you are because it's really rich and delicious. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm hoping some of the filming actually went through because I messed up on that. So anyway, thanks so much for, for watching.